that. Bro, that mouth looking good. Did you really just say that about Pickle Rick? First video we're reacting to today. Stung by 500 fire ants. I don't love being bitten or stung by our planet's misunderstood creatures, but I do love teaching you how to avoid these worst case scenarios. What f scenario am I gonna be in where I'm getting stung by 500 fire ants? And how the f would I avoid that? I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be scorched by fire ants. How bad do fire ants hurt? I mean, we're gonna see, but chat, have you ever been- has it, Have any of you been stung by fire ants? Aren't they really bad? Like, they burn for- and it, like, hurts for days after- He's already ah! going into it?! Yeah! Ah! Oh my god! Oh! oh my god, they give you, like, welts?! Imagine it's your wedding day. You picked the perfect venue. You posed for a million pictures. Is this really the scenario we're running with? That I step on a fire ant hill on my wedding day? And you built up the courage to walk down the aisle to say, I do. But what happens when an uninvited guest shows up to crash your big day? The untrained eye, the ground in front of me looks like soft grass and sandy soil. But just beneath the surface, a world of terror is waiting to eat. Yo. If I accidentally step on a fire ant hill and they fucking sting the shit out of me, I am murdering every fire ant in a fucking one mile radius. Do you know what love really means? Look out, volcanoes everywhere. Look out, volcanoes everywhere? Bro, what the fuck are you saying? ...to the United States from South America in the early 1930s and since this time has become a major agricultural and urban pest. I live in Texas. We have a lot of fire ants here. One time I sat on a fire ant pile. It felt like my body was burning. Throughout the southeastern U.S. Sammy for the 300 bets. These insects have established a stronghold, so eradication is virtually impossible. And every year, thousands do of Do they bite you or sting you? Which do they do? Virtually impossible. And every year... Hold up. Guys, I have a confession. I heard my mom sneeze and I didn't bless her. Wow. It was really tough saying this and this is my confession. They bite At first glance, you. their mounds look completely benign. Yet beneath the surface is a catacomb of elaborate tunnels, bustling with workers, soldiers, the queen, and her brood of precious eggs. The moment an invader is detected, like a volcano, it erupts. And, and I was told fire ants don't bite you until there's a large amount of them on you. So, like, you don't really know they're on you until there's already, like, 200 on you, and then they just bite the piss out of you. So this flow of angry ants will destroy anything in their path. Now, the purpose of today's episode, aside from the sheer entertainment of me being stung If by I'm wearing shoes, they're not gonna bite me, right? Like, how are they gonna get to me if I'm wearing shoes? The purpose of today's episode, aside from the sheer entertainment of me being stung by gazillions of fire ants, is to educate you about these invasive little insects and to show you what to do if you ever find yourself in this worst- Chat, would y'all do this for a YouTube video? I mean, he probably made a bag off of this. If I- if you guaranteed me 5 million monetized views for me to get stung by fire ants, oh, fuck yeah. Case scenario. Now, it's no secret that I've been stung by fire ants in the past. In fact, I've been stung close to 300 times as I plunged my hands down into one of their mounds. Truth be told, it's one of the worst stink scenarios of my entire life. But realistically, you're not likely to be stung on your hands. You're much more likely to be stung on your feet. On the piggies? So today, I sacrifice mine in the name of science to show you what to do if you ever find yourself the dogs in this worst out. case scenario. So if you're ready to party, let's dance with the fire ants. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be scorched by fire ants. I want to see what they look like like a day later. Oh boy, three. Now, before we enter the volcano and provoke an eruption of swarming ants, I want you to understand what makes these little invaders so impactful. Size doesn't always matter, and what these ants lack in yeah, scale... Yeah, it is kind of weird that they can be, like, that big and fucking hurt that bad. ...they make up for with sheer volume. 
Even the slightest disruption will provoke fire ants to attack a perceived intruder. Yeah! You move your finger in the sand and like a hundred come out? Oh, I'm shitting myself, dude. I could make my own army with them now. <gasps> you delete feet pics. L take plus ratio. You keep your feet pics? Inject a neurotoxic venom that immediately makes their victim feel as if they have stepped into a pool of boiling lava. Nah, I would eat that shit. Sounds like fun. Now let's see what that looks like in real life. Dude, how does he do this and not care? I mean, it's his whole YouTube video or his whole YouTube account. The mental preparation that it takes to- Like he's not even nervous. Induce a sting, let alone an onslaught of stings is not an easy thing to describe. This isn't like taking a single bullet ant sting or an execution wasp, which are both incredibly painful. This Ew, that wasp was fucking scary. I'm Coyote Peterson and I'm about to be scorched by fire ants. I swear to God, if he doesn't do it again. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Oh boy. Uh, I'm just gonna let myself get covered. Uh, and the volcano was erupting. Uh, ah, ah. Oh man, they are really swarming at this point. Look at that, they're completely- Yo, I gotta, I gotta watch the bullet ant stink. Dude, he's got like a hundred on his left foot. How long does he do this? I do not miss the feeling of fire ants. Uh, okay, I, I, I gotta step out. I gotta step out of the mound, out of the mound. Ah. Ew, his fucking feet are getting red. Oh, okay, now man. you're out of the mound. How do you get him off? Get him off! Got that one foot a lot worse than this foot. Do they leave? Ah. Dude, he's still, they're still stinging ah. him. Ah. Oh my gosh, there's so much- Pour water oh. on yourself. What are you doing? Mm. Ah. They might be small, but fire ants- ah. Oh my god, do you see the bugs starting to form on his fucking skin? Incredibly mighty, and they attack in mass. So right now what they're doing is biting out with the mandibles and inflicting that sting, and that neurotoxic venom is just destroying my feet and my ankles right now. Oh, this is the absolute worst case scenario you would not want to find yourself in. Imagine it's so weird because they're so tiny and he's freaking out and you're sitting here like, bro, like that can't hurt that bad. You flip flops, you brush through an entire- Oh my God, dude, it looks like he got burned. He has like welts. Under the hands and your feet are completely covered. I can already see the stings beginning to welt up. All right, guys, I got to dust them off. I got to dust off. We good? He's got good? a duster. Okay, I'm use this feather duster to gently get the ants off of me. Yes, I I'm don't pouring try to water on my fucking process. feet. Oh, dust them off. Come on, guys, get off of me. Off, 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 off. Off we go. Dude, I need to see like the oh, day later goodness. shit. He still has Sweet them on him. Feather duster relief. Dude, how long do you think it hurts for though? Are you feeling at this moment? Both of my feet are Dude, in... his feet look huge now. Absolute agony. <laughs> and the burning at this point has started to wear off and the itching is beginning oh, to set Oh, I would set scratch in. the fuck out of my feet. I would guess that I took somewhere around 450 to 500 stings. That is more than I took last time when I plunged my hands. Wonderful. Ah. Wow. I never thought I would be so happy to have cold water on my feet. Bunch this of gifted today. This thing washed off is definitely important. Just kind of dude, I need to see the after. With a little paper towel there and get it dry before you go on to Kept on giving. <gasps> Why do you do it with his fucking fingers? A single time, and thus far, I've ex Eww! Dude, they look like zits. Don't they look like zits? Experienced no more stinging or burning since the onslaught of stings. Now that is impressive. Oh my God, he really did a sponsor for this. The water bug video pinched by a lobster. Should I watch him get pinched by a lobster? Chat, he has so many fucking stupid videos. This one has 34 million views. Peterson, and I'm about to enter the pinch zone with the American lobster. Here we go. You gotta be a fucking psycho to do this shit, bro. You should watch him get stung by a bullet ant. It's the most painful sting. Dude, I don't know if I want to watch this lobster one. I, this is like a 30-minute video. Okay, now we'll watch this one clip here. Really? It's... Ah, ah. There is some pressure there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep, there is pressure, but definitely not what I was expecting. Here comes the other claw. Let's see if it will pinch down with that one. See me two claws at the same time. Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. Oh no! <gasps> ah. For a brief second. 
yeah, see, that's kind of anticlimactic. Isn't a bullet ant like a tribal ritual? We have caught a bullet ant, and we have it in the glass capsule, and right now Mark is filming the final macro shots, and I am two, yes, two minutes away from being stung by the insect that supposedly has the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. I think I'm gonna be Wait, fine. the most painful sting ever? Ew! Two. Damn, he's got like a fucking, what the fuck? He's got some big ass stinger there. Bullet ants are incredibly common on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica. And setting the stage for a sting was only going to take a single one. Seems simple. However, finding them can be quite the challenge. Especially when dealing with some of the most difficult filming conditions we have ever faced. <laughs> oh boy, that is the disorienting thing about the rainforest. Everything looks the same, no matter what direction you turn. You think you got a nest? I mean, the ground looks the same as it has in most of the jungle, but there's a hole here. I definitely saw a large ant moving up on the side of that, but before I just storm up there. Did you just see one, or do you see I a saw few? one ant, one <laughs> ant. But this looks like there's a How hole long right did you there. think they looked around the goddamn jungle to find one singular ant? Hours. Where? That would suck. You see that? This looks like it could be a nest. I don't see the hole. Can you point to it? Oh, I just saw There's, there's one coming out right there. Coming out. It took them three days. They looked for three days for, I mean, it was worth it. They made a shitload of money off this video, but oh my God. Did he get stung? Mark, watch out. I think what if he gets stung in the middle of the forest? That would actually be fucking hilarious. Then he has to do it again. I think they're swarming. We have definitely found a bullet ant nest. There's no question about it. Um, I was in there trying to get a single ant and they started swarming out. Okay, this just went from slightly dangerous to extremely dangerous because there was one crawled up on my hand and I got startled and I flicked it off of me. I need to go back and get the container. We need to get an ant. Oh, dude. And you don't know if one's on you? I got one. I got one. Back up, back up, back up. It's going right towards my hand. It's attacking the tip of the stick. I'm going to put it down right here on the dirt. Yeah! Nope. All right, I'm going to get it in this cup. Got it! Walk right in. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Holy yeah. cow! Imagine they walk back and it dies before it stings him. We could do some sort of, um, like, Uno Monopoly type shit. Like, uh, yeah, I, I, I talked to him about it. We probably will eventually. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Damn, we you really went for being so excited and now shitting yourself. A bullet ant, and we have it in the glass capsule. And right Chat, now, Chad, would you do this? I kind of want to know what it feels like. Like, a fucking small-ass bug could hurt that bad. He's filming the final macro shots. I'm going to Google what does a bullet ant feel like. What does a bullet ant sting feel like? Does it? There's no shot it actually feels like getting shot by a bullet. It feels like walking over flaming charcoal with a three-inch nail embedded in your heel. And the pain lasts up to 24 hours. Okay, never mind. I wouldn't do this. This is Costa Rica, and that, ladies and gentlemen, dare I say it. Dude, see, yeah, no, no, f look at that shit, bro. Is one monster-sized He's bullet insane. Ant. He willingly got bit by a snapping turtle. Dude, I kind of need to see that. I need to see the snap. I, I don't, I'm going to get off the insects after this shit. I want right, to see the snapping turtle and the alligator. This, let's just go over some basic safety for everybody out there watching. Dude, he has an EpiPen. Oh, it's over, dude. It's over. It's over. An EpiPen, for those of you that don't know, is if you go into anaphylaxis and you start dying. Dude! Oh my god! And dude, this is the worst. This is worse than even being stung by it. The fucking lead up. You're just sitting here waiting and he's not stinging you. And then he's gonna have to fucking, like, poke at him. And I think, similar to the velvet ant, that this ant is gonna need to be held with forceps to induce a sting. Okay, I'm going to tip the glass capsule back up and get the ant under control. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, control. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man. Oh see now he's freaking out. Now he's freaking out. I would be I would be so pissed then. I would be like bro come on I was already prepared. Now you gotta rehype yourself up to get stung again. I'm lightheaded. Oh the nerves that that takes guys. When the ants were coming out of the nest they were very very angry. And I think at this point, the ant has calmed down and it's just thinking, can I get out of this glass capsule? <sighs> Two. Oh my gosh, this is it. Three. Oh my God. 
Dude, he's gonna kill it. Point right there. Oh my gosh. It is like oh, it's hot. Oh, I can feel a venom already. It's weird because you don't really see the pain. It's because it's like venom, so it's just his body is feeling it, and it's just like holy shit. Ah. Oh, it is. Yeah, bro, he's making some sounds. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's How long more. does it hurt? It's getting though? Worse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. Oh. Oh, my whole arm is getting really tight. Oh my gosh, Mark, put your arm out here. Just tell them. Feel my forearm. Wow. Dude, it is like rock hard. I think it's spasming up the muscle. Now, the toxin that comes out of the sting of a bullet ant is a Panera toxin, which can cause you to hallucinate. So, I don't know how It can cause you to hallucinate? Yo, that's actually kind of cool. How much venom actually went into my arm all i know is that the stinger was in my forearm for a considerable amount of time ah, uh, oh my gosh oh, he did oh. this to get high oh, oh. dude i think my i think my i think my neck is having a muscle spasm. mark you're looking like a unicorn right now ah, no, my gosh. it is hold on i'm super lightheaded like super lightheaded dude i would i would <sighs> die laughing if he just went this is where it surpassed him acting, and now he's actually panicking. Bullets of sweat for the bullet ant. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay composed. I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to cut this scene pretty quickly. I'm in a lot of pain right now. Okay, at the moment, I'm experiencing hot, radiating waves of pain. It feels as if someone has stabbed me with a hot poker, and I can actually feel the venom. It's throbbing. It's very similar to the bite of the Gila monster. When I was bitten by Buddy, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I need to see the aftermath. Dude, does he show it? Pulsating. I can feel these hot waves of pain going through. Oh, it. dude, his fu his whole forearm is swollen. Everybody said to watch this one. Dude, he really let a snapping turtle bite him. All right, guys. So right now I'm sitting here. Jeez, calm down. With a 50-pound alligator snapping turtle. A couple months back, I posted a photo on Instagram and Facebook and asked. Dude, I've seen these in real life. They're fucking terrifying. I don't think it makes me more nervous than to get my arm into Dude, the Dude, get it away from your head, you fucking dumbass. Jaws of this turtle. Now let's take a look at his actual bite force here. But look at that. That bite could easily lop off my fingers, so you're not going to see me doing this. But what I'm going to do is actually put my arm into the turtle's jaws. And we're going to test this out first with a turkey leg, which is about as big around as my forearm, just to see what sort of damage this turtle's jaws are capable of doing. I know you guys are probably sitting there right now thinking, Coyote, you are absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah, Coyote, you're absolutely crazy. But this is the most, this is the most uh, adrenaline I've ever felt in my entire life. Part. <laughs> Dude, he's got to be turned on by this. No doubt. That's about as thick as my forearm is. That's a big turkey If he bites right through there. the turkey like bone, and, uh, I, would, I would actually never do this. I would cut the video. The it's all muscle right there, muscle and bone. So what we're going to do is attach First time on stream, it's fire. Thank you. Piece of bamboo. I'm going to reach it out, and I'm going to let that turtle latch down on this. And we're going to see just how hard and deep his jaws are cut into that meat. I mean, if he cuts all the way through down to the bone, I don't know, guys. I don't want to get injured so bad that I'm sent to the hospital. All right, here we yep, go, guys. Now we're going to slide the turkey leg in. Biting down on a turkey leg, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. Did you see how deep his beak just went into that meat? Dude, guys, I don't know about that. Hold it there. Oh, he won't stop biting, too! See, that's the problem. If he bites his forearm, he'll keep biting it. He won't let go. The meat is just falling off. That was a solid turkey leg. That is his lower beak. That's the hole that the lower... Oh, yeah, that's a hole in the skin. I don't know, man. That is some serious... He has to be an to adrenaline meat. junkie, literally. He's got to... Let's, let's, let's rethink this. Let's rethink this. He's okay, gotta cut be. The camera. Cut the camera? Nah, if he doesn't do it... Yeah, he definitely does it. ...on my arm using an ace bandage for splint... What? Sorry, guys. You only grow one set of fingers. Just always remember that. 
However, so I could still go through with this little experimental challenge, we decided to build a brace on my arm using an ace bandage, four splints, and some sports wrap. Hopefully this combination will give me some protection against the bite. Let it bite your arm! Let it bite your arm! Boo! What the fuck? GoPro, ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. I could hear cracking the bamboo. Oh, jeez. Ah! He's through, he's through, he's through into my arm. Ah, oh, jeez, it went right by past the bamboo into my arm. Dude, take off the you thing. You guys asked, oh. do not experience. You oh, damn! That was with all that shit on? Imagine if it wasn't on. That would have ripped right through. It was fucking, that would have ripped right through him. Alligator bite. How bad is an alligator bite? He weighs about 20 pounds. And an alligator of this size is only about two years old. So the purpose of me getting chomped today by Junior, other than the fact that you guys wanted to see me get chomped by an alligator, is to prove to you that having an alligator as a pet is just not a good idea. He has to come up with some reason to do this. All right, Junior, go easy on me, buddy. Oh, I don't know how I get myself into these things. Here we go. Oh, hold up. Let me watch it real quick. It's into my arm. He is holding on. That's not that bad. I'll, I, won't show, I won't show the aftermath. <laughs> Yeah, he is into my arm. He is holding on. Yeah, I think a big one. I think a big one. That doesn't even look real, by the way. Doesn't this look like a fake alligator? Conspiracy theory. Take yeah, it doesn't let go for a minute. It's still in his arm. Really, he's just, it's not that bad. Peter is a pet. And then he's it. It's not that bad. It's actually not that bad. In one of his videos, he accidentally falls off a 30 foot cliff. No fucking shot. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? I did a complete reverse somersault and landed with a thud onto my head, shoulder. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's fine. How the hell is he fine? Dude, Dude, he's perfectly fine. He's like, yeah, I'm fine. Dude, this guy's immortal. Something like that. All right, hold up. Let me go piss real quick. Then we're gonna watch the Elon Musk video. For 300 bits, he's immortal and Val? Yeah, for sure. Count me down 30 seconds. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,